play follows Blanche, who is staying over at her sister's place, Stella, and her brother-in-law, Sandy. Human will explain more of the scene and characters later. So let's give it up for Human. Everyone, let's welcome Human to stage, please. from Dalton. So basically, I have some pictures ready, but basically my play that I'm going to read out is a play called The Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. Now, The Streetcar Named Desire follows the story of Blanche Dubois, who is from the South, and she moves in with her sister and her, and her brother-in-law, Stan, Stella and Sandy. Uh, Stella uh, moves in to with Blanche moves in with Stella under the guise of taking a break from her job, but this is actually a lie. And Stanley, smelling out the lie from Blanche, decides to confront Stella, who and Blanche, from beginning to this scene, has been, just for more context, been playing around with Stanley's friends, Mitch. So in this scene, Blanche. Uh, Stanley is confronting Stella that Blanche is lying to both of them and in the next scene it's going to be her birthday and Stanley is going to confront Blanche about her own uh, dishonesty. So we'll wait for Dalton a bit just for a better visualization. So where is this book from? Oh, where is that? This play. Uh, oh, oh, where is this play from? What do you mean? Uh, it... Is it from a book or is it from? Well, it's from a playwright, actually. I mean, yes, it's a book, I guess. I got this during A levels, so yeah. This is a shame. So playwright is like a script. A playwright is the person who writes the scripts. So yeah, this is a book. So thank you for filling in the signs for the awkwardness. So this is from an actual play? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's one of, considered one of the best American plays of its time, so something to be noted about. If it's going to take long, I'm going to go straight into it. I'm right, very sorry for the wait, everyone. And I'll be sorry to see you. So the stuff for honey, it's Blanche's birthday. She here in the bath, washing out some things. I reckon so. How long she been there? All afternoon. Soaking in the hot tub. Yes. Temperature hundred knows she soaks herself in a hot tub. She says it cools off her. She says it cools her off from eating. And you run out to get her cooks, I suppose. Serve up your majesty in the tub. Sit down here a minute. Stanley, I've got things to do. Sit down! You got the dope on your big sister, Stella. Stanley, stop picking up Blanche. That girl calls me common. 
Lately, you've been doing all you can think of to rub her the wrong way, Sammy. I'm not just sensitive. You've got to understand that Blanche and I grew up in it under very different circumstances than you did. So I've been told. Told and told and told. You know she's been feeding us a pack of lies here? No, I don't. And well, she has, however. Now the cat's out of the bag. Found out some things. What things? Things are unexpected, but now I've got proof of the most reliable sources, which I have checked on. Some canary bird, huh? Now please, tell me quietly. What do you think you found out about my sister? Lie number one. All this squeamishness she puts on. You just know the lie she's been fitting to Mitch. He thought she had never been more than kissed by a fellow. The sister Blanche is no lily. Aha! Suddenly she is. What have you heard and who from? Supply man from down at the plant has been going through Laurel for years and knows all about her and everybody else in the town of Laurel knows about her. As famous as she is famous in Laurel, she is the President of the United States. Only she's not respected by any party. The supply man shops at a hotel called the Flamingo. But what about the Flamingo? She stayed there too. My sister lived at Bear. My sister lived at Belle Reeve. This is after the whole place had slipped through her lily with white fingers. She moved to Flamingo, second class hotel, which has the advantage of not interfering in the private social life of the personalities there. The Flamingo is used to all kinds of going ons. But even the management of the Flamingo was impressed by Dame Blanche. In fact, they were so impressed. By Dame Blanche, they requested her to turn in her room key. Her permanently. It's happened a couple of weeks before she showed you. What contemptible lies! Sure. I can see how you would be upset by this. She pulled the wool over your eyes as much as bitches. It's pure invention. There's not a word of truth in it. If I were a man, this creature had dared to invent such things in my presence. Honey, I told you, I've already checked with these stories. Now wait till I finish. The trouble with Dame Blanche was that she couldn't put on her act anymore at Laurel. They got wise up after two or three dates with her, then they quit. She goes on to another, the same old line, same old act, same old hooey. The town was too small for this to go on forever. As time went by, she became a town character. Regard is not just different, but downright loco. Nuts. For the last year or two, she's been washed up like poison. That's why she's here this summer, visiting royalty, putting on all this act, because she's practically told by the mayor to get out of town. Yeah, did you know that there was an army camp near the Laurel? Your sister's in one of the places called Out of Bounds. Well, so much for being such a refined, particular type of girl. Brings me to lie number two. I don't want to hear any more. She's not going back to teach school. In fact, I'm willing to bet you that she never had no idea of returning to Laurel. She didn't resign temporarily from the high school because of her nurse. No siree, Bob, she didn't. They kicked her out of that school, high school before the spring term ended. And I hate to tell you the reason that she step, step was taken. A 17-year-old boy she'd gotten mixed up with. This is making me sick. The boy's dad learned about it and got in touch with the high school superintendent. Boy, oh boy, I'd like to have been in that office with Dave Blanche. Just called on the carpet. I'd like to have Seen her trying to squirm out of that one. But they had her on the hook, good and proper at that time. And she knew that the jig was all up. They told her she'd better move on to some fresh territory. 
Yep, it was practically a town ordinance passed against her. Meanwhile, during this scene, Blanche opens the door from the bathroom and with a towel above her head. Stella, a kiss, Blanche. Give me another bath towel to dry my hair with. I just washed it. Uh, yes, Blanche. Stella then gives Blanche a towel. What's the matter, honey? What matter? Why? You have such a strange expression on your face. Uh, oh. I guess I'm a little tired. Why don't you bathe too as soon as I get out? Meanwhile, Stanley calls him from the kitchen. How soon is that going to be? Not terribly long. Possess your soul with patience. It's not my soul I'm worried about. Well, what do you think of it? I don't believe all those stories. I think Mr. Plyman was the mean one to tell them. It's possible that some of the things he said are partly true. There are things about my sister that I don't approve of. Things that cause sorrow at home. She was always flighty. Flighty is some word for it. But when she was young, very young, she had an experience that killed her illusion. What experience was that? I mean, her marriage, when she was almost a child, she married a boy who wrote poetry. He was extremely good looking. I think Blanche didn't just love him, but worship the ground he walked on. Adored him and thought him almost too fine to be human. But then she found out. What? This beautiful and talented man was a degenerate. Didn't your supply man give you that information? All we discussed was recent history. That must have been a pretty long time ago. Yes, it was a long time ago. How many candles are you putting up in the cake? I'll stop at 25. Is company expected? We asked Mitch to come over for a cake and ice cream. Uh, I wouldn't be expecting Mitch over tonight. Mitch is a buddy of mine. We're in the same outfit together, 241st engineers. We're in the same plan and now on the same bowling team. You think I could face him if Stanley Kowalski? Did you did you repeat what that your gosh darn right I told him? I'd have that on my conscience the rest of my life if I knew all that stuff and let my best friend get caught. I switched through with her? Wouldn't you be if I I said I switched through with her? No, I don't think he's not really through with her. Just wised up. Stanley, she thought Mitch was going to going to marry her. I was hoping so too. Well, he's not going to marry her. Maybe he was, but he's not going to jump in a tank with a school of sharks. <laughs> now, Blanche, oh Blanche, can I please get in my bathroom? Uh, can you wait one second while I trap? Having waited one hour, I guess one second. I'll be passing a hurry. She hasn't got her job. Well, what will she? What will? What will she do? She's not staying here for Tuesday. You know that, don't you? Just make sure I bought her ticket myself. A bus ticket. In the first place. Blanche will go on a bus. She'll go on a bus and she'll like it. No, she won't. No, she won't. Stanley! She'll go! Period. P.S. She'll go Tuesday. What'll she do? What on earth will she do? Her future is not tough for her. What do you mean? A canary bird! Toots! Get out of the bathroom! Must I speak more plainly? 
So in this scene, Blanche gets out of the bathroom, Sally walks in, and Blanche is just brushing her hair. Oh, I feel so good after my long, hot bath. I feel so good and cool and rested. Do you, Blanche? Yes, I do. So refreshed. A hot bath, a long, cold drink always gives me a brand new outlook. First time my entire experience with men, and I've had a good deal of all sorts that have actually been set up by anybody. <laughs> I don't know how to take it. Tell us a funny story, Stan. Something to help us out. I don't think you'd like the stories, Blanche. I like them when they're amusing, but not decent. I don't know any re refined enough for your taste. Then let me tell them. Yes, you tell one, Blanche. You used to know a lot of good stories. Let me see now. I must run through my repertoire. Oh, yes, I love parrot stories. Do you all like parrot stories? Well, this one's about the old maid and parrot. This old maid, she had a parrot that cursed a blue streak and knew more vocal expressions than Mr. Kowalski. Huh. Apparently, Mr. Kowalski was not abused. Mr. Kowalski was too busy making a pig of himself to think of anything else. That's right, baby. Your face and your fingers are disturbing me, Percy. Go and wash up and help me clear the table. At this moment, Stanley grabbed the plate and hurled it to the floor. That's how I'll clear the table. Don't you ever talk that way to me. Pig, Polak, disgusting, vulgar, greasy. That kind of words have been on your tongue and your sister too much around here. What do you think you think what do you think you two are? A pair of queens? Remember what Hui Long said? Every man is a king. And I'm the king around here. So don't forget it. My place is clear. You want me to clear up your places? Out, that says. What happened when I was bathing? What did you tell yourself? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I think I told you about something about Mitch and me. You know why Mitch didn't come, but you won't tell him. I'm going to call him. I, I wouldn't call him Blanche. I am. I'm going to call him on the phone. <sighs> I wish you wouldn't. I intend to be given some explanation from someone. Blanche goes to the bedroom with the phone. Sella approaches her husband. I hope you're pleased with your doings. I never had so much trouble swallowing food in my life. Looking at the girl's face in the empty chair. Stell, it's gonna be all right after she goes. And after you've had the baby, it's gonna be all right again. Between you and me, the way, the way that it was. Remember that wave that was the nights we had together? God, honey, it's gonna be sweet when we can make noise at night the way that we used to. And get the colored lights going on with nobody's sister behind the curtains to hear us. Come on back in. Blanche? Uh, yes. Oh, those pretty little candles. Oh, don't burn them, Silla. I certainly will. You ought to sing them for Bane's birthday. Uh, I hope candles are going to glow in this lap, and I hope that his eyes are going to be like candles. Like two blue candles lighted in a white cake. What poetry. 
is apt to know some candles aren't safe. The candles burn out the little boy's eyes. Our wind blows them out, and after that happens, electric light bulbs go on, and you see too plainly. I should have called it. There's lots of things. There's lots of things that could happen. There's no excuse for it still. I don't have to put up with insults. I will be taken for granted. Gosh darn, it's hard to hear the steam in the bathroom. I said I was sorry three times. I think I'm back from my nerves. Hydro therapy, they call it. You healthy Polak, with a nerve in your body, of course you don't know what anxiety feels like. I am not a Polak. People from Poland are Poles, not Polaks. But what I am is 100% American. Born and raised the greatest country on earth, and proud as hell of it. So don't ever call me a Polak. Meanwhile, the bell rings. Oh, that's me, I'm sure. I'm not sure. Keep your seat. Hello? Oh yeah, hello, Mac. Oh, keep your hands off me, Sella. What is the matter with you? Why do you look at me with such a pitying look? Quiet in there! You got a noisy woman. Hey, Sister Blanche, got a little birthday remembrance for you. Oh, heavy Stanley. I wasn't expecting any. I, I don't know why Stella wants to observe my birthday. I might try to forget it when you reach 27. Well, you just something that you prefer to ignore. 27? What time is it? Is it for me? Yes. I hope you like it. What? What? Why it's a... Ticket! Back to Laurel. The Greyhound. Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> well... You didn't need to do that, Stanley. Don't forget all that I took of her. You didn't have been so cool to someone alone as she is. Delicate piece she is. She is! She was. You didn't know how Blanche is a girl. Nobody, nobody was tender and trusting as she was. The people like you abused her and forced her to change. You think you're going bowling now? Sure. You're not going bowling. Why did you do this to her? I done nothing to no one. Let go of my shirt. You've torn it. I want to know why. Tell me why. When you first met me and you, you thought I was common. How right you was, baby. I was common as dirt. You showed me the snapshot of the place with the columns. I pulled you down on the columns and how do you love it? Having the colored lights going. And wasn't we happy together? Wasn't it all okay till she showed here? Wasn't it all okay? Until her came along? Hoity toity, scribing me as an ape. Hey, what is it, Sal? Sally, take me to the hospital. So that's the end of the scene. Much back to you, Delta.